In this video I would like to show you the Tiny GTC, a new member of the Tiny Devices family. When you buy a Tiny GTC, it arrives in a nice blue box. Inside the box you will find the device itself, a USB-C cable, two SMA cables, an SMA-T and the GPS antenna with about 2 meters of coax cable. The Tiny GTC has a 4 inch display and at the top it has 5 SMA connectors. From left to right they are labeled as OUT for the general purpose output, REF which is, can be used both for reference input and for an additional clock output, GNSS for connecting the GPS antenna and the two main inputs A and B. At the right side there's the jog wheel for additional UI control and the on off switch and at the left side you have the SD card slot and the USB-C connector. After switching on the tiny GTC you can see what's on the display. At the top you have at the left the system panel Next to it is the output and the reference output panel. Then you have the GPS and the GPSDO control panel. And the two input uh, fields to control the input and the one and two counter. Beneath that you have one or more display rows. Uh, the content that is shown on these display rows is completely customizable. In this case there are two display rows which will show the frequency of input A and B measured through counters 1 and 2. Before using the device for the first time, it is advised to run the self-test. As preparation for the self-test, you have to connect the out with both inputs A and B, and this can be done using the supplied SMA-T connected to out and the two cables connecting the T to A and B. Activate the menu, go to config and then run self-test and start and it will run the complete self-test. The purpose of the self-test is to uh, be sure that all the hardware components of the tiny GTC function correctly and if all is well you should get no error messages and you are sure about the uh, operation of the device. It's almost completed. Ah, the GPS test failed because I did not connect the GPS antenna. If you connect the GPS antenna, it will detect the GPS PPS, at least when it has received a lock on the GPS location. So the test succeeded and we can continue in the preparation of measurement. With the same cable setup as for the self-test, we can do the first measurement. Clicking on the out field will bring up the out and ref out menus and I can select a square wave output of 10 MHz and it will immediately start and you will see both counters 1 and counters 2 measure the 10 MHz. Of course it would be nice if you could show a graph and that is possible by clicking on the black area here and then select display and then select chart and to restart the plots click restart all and now you will get the plot of the frequency over time. As you can see the plot only shows uh, the yellow trace but you can change it by this by clicking on the blue trace, options, and enable the plot. And now both frequencies are shown in the plot. Next to measuring frequencies, you can also measure in the time domain phase and you can use it to count pulses from the inputs. There's options for smoothing the input measured values. You can scale the values 
and there's various kinds of statistics that you can enable and there's also a simple way to show all the statistics in the input field. After connecting the GPS antenna and enabling a third row to show the relevant information for the GPS and the GPS DO, we can start the GPS DO. As you can see, the GPS is locked and it's receiving about 15 satellites with the HDOP of 0.7. The GPS can receive uh, the GPS constellation and the Baidu constellation. And here it shows it has eight satellites of GPS and nine satellites of the BDS, the Baidu constellation. Using the GPS field, I can change the reference to int GPS, which means that the internal TCXO will be disciplined by the PPS from the GPS and here you can see that the disciplining has started and it will over time uh, try to uh, make set the, the frequency and after that is done also the phase of the internal 10 megahertz reference uh, similar to what is received from the GPS so that you have a full phase lock from the internal 10 megahertz signal with the uh, GPS frequencies. I hope this video has given you some insight in the tiny GTC. Within the coming weeks I will be making some more videos going into detail in the various functions of this wonderful small device. Thank you for watching.